Hello there my friends and fans, St. Patrick's Teen Boy 2K10 is here once again, and today, I'm going to rant on Animator Extraordinary Transforming Worlds, and if you like this user, or is neutral to him, then I highly suggest you to cut ties with him and not to trust or support him because of what he did over the years, I'm not trying to bash your opinion, it's only just an advice, and this video is made for constructive criticism purposes only, not made for cyberbullying, but anyways, Let's start the rant, shall we? Animator Extraordinary Transforming Worlds is nothing but a school shooter joker, I used to like him since 2020, but not anymore, since I lost interest since March 15th, 2023, let me give you the reasons on why I hate him in my opinion, 1. He wished the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting a happy anniversary, proving that he's disrespectful to those who died in that school shooting, 2. He doxes two users such as the Meme Master and Spongebob Gaming? Are you kidding me right now Animator Extraordinary Transforming Worlds? Why would you dox two users? You should know that doxing people is a serious crime, and you should go to jail for that. And this proves you act like SS Sniper Wolf, even though she's not any better than him. 3. He said the N-word on his rant on the Wiggles back in 2021, proving that he's racist towards black people, and not to mention that he did the same thing as Sean Sullivan back in 2020, although he's a dead topic. 4. He sends death threats, proving that he's heartless. 5. He abuses the copyright system. He should know that, that the copyright system is used for giving people copyright strikes, and he should get his channel terminated for what he did. 6. He claims that he hates ages of consent, proving that he supports pedophilia, and also, Age of consent is important to protect minors, 7. He fakes his apologies just so that people can like him again, which will never happen, 8. He shared CP on his community tab where but was naked, which sharing CP is illegal, and he can get arrested for it, 9. He committed CP on a video where Caillou and Little Bill got held back 3 years ago, and like what I said, committing CP can get him arrested, and he's now confirmed the pedophile and which makes him a Sean Sullivan 2.0, although I am still ignoring him since he's a dead topic, 10. He can't handle nor criticism, not even surprised, 11. He deleted his apology video all because they denied it, proving that he can't handle hate, 12. He's a hypocrite, because he claims to hate criminals, pedophiles, CP, and doxing, yet he actually does those categories, 13. He claims that makes multiple apology posts counts as faking apologies, when his doesn't, it's not like we should never make mistakes ever again, no, no one is perfect, everyone makes mistakes, 14. He takes trolls way too seriously, proving that he feeds trolls, 15. He hates Wilson the Revenge Master for taking trolls way too seriously, yet he does the same thing, making him a massive hypocrite, 16. He lost interest on apology videos all because Aiden Productions Films made multiple apology posts, proving that he wants users to never make mistakes ever again, although Aiden Productions isn't any better. 17. He hates apologizing, proving that he's heartless. 18. He takes the HXR way too seriously when the HXR users are just trolls who are meant to be ignored. 19. On his top 20 users list. He puts trolls such as Super Saad the Irish Pakistani boy 2k5 and more users, 20. He treats trolling like it's worse than Hitler, although I still hate the trolling community, 21 he lied about the Vyond community too many times, 22. He'd never left the Vyond community, 23. He claims that he's no longer in the Vyond community, yet he kept talking about it too many times, making him a massive hypocrite, 24. He's stuck in the Vyond community forever. Once you enter the Vyond community, you can never escape, and the Vyond community will also never improve. It's North Korea hell altogether. 25. He lied about leaving the drama community. How you may ask? Because he made true and honest feelings out of innocent users, and thank god he retired his true and honest feelings series. 26. When everybody started losing hatred on Zarin 999 and found out that they were brainwashed by a BNF in a Wyrk Vyonder 2k4 by the whole time, he refused to lose hatred on Zarin 999 and still hates him, proving that he can't handle hate, 27. 
He lied about moving on from all users he hates and unproved his true and honest feelings about Super Saad the Irish Pakistani boy 2k5 the top 20 worst users video where he put him as his number one worst user ever, 28. When Foxy and Asa improved and everybody started losing hatred on them, he refused to lose hatred on Stepdown J and Shadow and Stepdown Vinny all because they still hate him, proving that he cannot handle hate, 29. He lied about quitting YouTube on January 31, 2024, 30. He claims that he hates liars, when he lied about leaving YouTube himself, making him a massive hypocrite, 31 and finally. He claims that pedophiles deserve death, yet he doesn't act like it, because he called Super Saad the Irish Pakistani boy 2k5 vote for sending HHHH go animate a death threat, which he's also a pedophile because he made a post out of Splat FDI 2024 are characters named Mandora and Fora who are both 145 in the actual series, and he threatened to cut Lola J's private parts when Lola is only 14, and Animator Extraordinary Transforming Worlds, also known as Vinny, if you're watching this, I'm so done with you until improve your behavior, but anyways, do you know who likes this user, Jay Kaiser, and do you know who hates this user, me, Mauricio Thirgen and a guy 2003, Super Saad the Irish Pakistani boy 2k5, and various users, we all hate him so much. But anyways, end of rant, note, if you have any requests, let me know in the comments, what rant am I going to do next? But anyways, this is me, over and out, God bless you.